All right, everyone. Um, so update time, life update, whatever you want to call it at this point in time. So I mentioned in my earlier videos that I'm getting divorced. Well, I'm officially divorced. It was about maybe two months ago. It, it became finalized, so that's good. House is signed over. Everything is good to go on that. <clears throat> Custody, everything is worked out finally on that. School wise, I'm caught up. I'm ahead. Um, I've had somebody helping me, and she has done an awesome job with helping me. She's also going to be technically an account like she'll be like my public relations specialist because she's good with she's good with the Twitter and all that. So she'll be <clears throat> helping me out a little, a little bit with that. You might see her in a few videos, um, in a few upcoming videos. My schedule has been slow to post. <clears throat> well, I mean, I've been slow posting. Last week, well, last, uh, yeah, last weekend I was sick. Um, in one of the videos I post, I'm still sick. You'll see me sucking down tea like no tomorrow. Because she also took care of me when I was sick also. Um, I've got two videos. I'm going to start doing The Sims. Uh, the concept of these uploads is I'm going to kind of, <clears throat> I'm just going to take like, I'm going to take my life and use The Sims to kind of create that. Uh, I'm going to try a little bit in the, I'm going to try it in The Sims 4 and then later I might try it in The Sims 3. Uh, the other day I actually bought a uh, couple more games off Steam. Um, I forgot what all that I got off of it. But there's like two or three that I got. I'll probably do some playthroughs on those here soonish. Depends how things looking. Cause like I said, with my schedule, school's about wrapped up. I've got three weeks left. I'm about done. It's going, it's going good. Uh, I've talked about weight loss too in these in some of these videos. And my weight loss, I'm at a standstill. I've not gained anything back, but I've I've maintained. But at the same time. With this being my last little bit in school, I've been focusing more of my time to getting that done and passing. I mean, I've not done bad. I did make the honor roll. Yeah, online school, I made the honor roll. I, I don't know. There's a stereotype behind that somewhere. I'm just not 100% sure on it, and I'm not going to make any jokes because I'm not 100% sure on the stereotype, and I don't want to look like a dick. It happens. <clears throat> but yeah, I was on the honor roll, and I mean, even before, my grades never did get bad, and I never, I, I stayed caught up, but not ahead. All right, now, I'm at the point of, I'm ahead. That's, thank God, I'm ahead, thank God. So I got about three weeks left. Got three, I got three weeks left. I'm, yeah, counting on my fingers, take my boots off and all that shit. Um, Fallout. I'll be getting back to Fallout soonish. Okay, listen, I, I won't be getting back to it soonish, but um, I'm gonna take a small break from it for a little bit because I I want to kind of dive into something else. You know, gets I want to do something that's kind of a little bit easier, something where I don't get tied into a deep storyline where I can kind of pace myself. Like, like when I play Fallout, I have to actually like complete. A mission like when I was doing the wasteland episode or doing the wasteland episodes which I'm not done with that either but I would have to go like there's three things you know like minefield um, you know the, the, the mire alerts and whatever the other quest was or getting injured and basically getting uh, super duper mark the mire alerts and um, thing was like getting irradiated Um, so, uh, you know, so I had, you know, I, I would complete one, move on to the other, I can't stop in the middle of a quest and stop a video that way unless it's just getting too late, but it was just too time consuming, and then, then there was the editing process, so, you know, I'd, it'd take me a day or so to do the editing process, because, again, f fatigue, exhaustion, <clears throat> work, 
So I'm going to do some sim games. I'm going to do something like Gas Station Simulator. Um, that's I don't know when I'll start with that one, but that's that's kind of coming up. Um, yeah, The Sims 4. I'm working on that for a little bit. Just you know, just kind of chill for a little bit. And then I would say probably when school's finished, I'll start back into I'll start back into Fallout. Uh, I got Fallout 4. I bought it. Also, I got Fallout 2. I got the I have the whole complete Fallout series. So I'm going to be working with those uh, here in the up uh, here in the next little bit. Um, I'm going to do playthroughs. I don't know. I know there's some creators that do like the lore. Um, you know, um, picture me in a fedora, and you'll know who I'm talking about. And you know, a cigar. I, you know, here, here we go. Perfect impression. So that you know, the, uh, I don't think I'm gonna go into that. I'm gonna do a little bit. I'm gonna do something along those lines, except it's not gonna be an hour and a half video or two hours. This is gonna be a quick. Here's this guy. Here's who he does. You know, I'll be I'll be using a little bit of that template, but not not accessible because I don't want to copy. The creators, I don't want to copy other creators and be one of those, you know, hey, look, he's copying this one. No, I'm not, I don't want to copy, I'm going to do my original work. So when I do it, it's going to be, I'm going to do commentary over it, just kind of put my 10 cents in, make some sarcastic comments, just add my own touch to it. Because I'm, I'm trying to come thing, I'm trying to come through things from more of a, hmm. I don't want to say laconic, sar laconic sarcasm like the Spartans, but more of a, more of a dark humor than anything else, because that's, that's how I deal with stress and with the job that I do, it being corrections. Uh, yeah, um, that's the way I deal with stress. You have to have some sort of sense of humor, or you'll you'll never last. I've also. Um, so like I say, I got two uploads to I got two Sims uploads tonight. I did an epilogue of me doing the character creation, and then I got the uh, one with me just playing around, trying to goof up, trying to do um, the problem that I have. The problem that I have with the Sims is where I'm trying to add humor to it. I have to kind of do like an on the spot. I have to do on the spot retorts, on the spot reactions, and I'm kind of working on that. I'm trying to get it to where I'm trying to make it funny. I don't know if I'll do good at that or not, but I'm going to try to make it funny. So when you watch them, if you want to comment, you say, hey, look, you know, you can probably like just shut the fuck up and it'll be funnier. So. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> now that that's out of the way, I hope everybody's Thanksgiving was great. Uh, for Thanksgiving, I went up to mom and dad's. Uh, I had a little man all of Thanksgiving where I was off. Uh, I took him Wednesday night. Where I was off, where I was off all week. I took him Wednesday night. That's been a little bit better. So Thursday went to mom and dad. You know, had Thanksgiving. Uh, little man got to eat. You know, she, mom gave him a little bit of ball there. I got some video of him eating, like he eating like a little little grown man. Um, today I put the Christmas tree up. I've fixed a duck. I'm starting to, with my time freeing up, I'm starting to get back into more things like cooking. Um, I've actually got, there's one thing that I'm going to start doing some videos on. It's actually right here in my, right here. I've had this for a couple of years. My ex-wife got this as like an anniversary present. So I've not really, her sense of, her sense oh, this is this cleaned off a little bit, but we got. But um, <clears throat> her, she was a picky eater. Um, I mean, good gosh, she was picky. Um, so you know, a lot of the stuff in there, you know, that don't sound good. I don't think that sounds good. Blah 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 blah. It's like there's some recipes from it, but since you know she's not in the picture anymore, I'm gonna start doing some videos. Want to get my kitchen finished? Of me doing some fallout, me doing some fallout, just some fallout cooking. Um, I've also put up my Christmas tree for today. 
um, had the same person that's helping me is the also the same one that helped me put up the uh, Christmas tree right there. There you go. <laughs> oh my god! Not the best side. Uh, she helped me. You know, she helped me out quite. She helped me out quite a bit. Uh, she's been helping me here the last. She's helped me keep my household like under control. But when I get the, um, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm trying not to get sidetracked. I I did a, a, a shoot of this earlier, and I just went so many places. But no, um, like I said, I've mentioned a few times, my house is under construction. Um, the way it is, is this house had an add-on put on years ago. I don't know how long it was, but, um, when we did the add, when, well, when they did the add-on, the previous owners, the add-on was a kitchen, living room, open, it was an open floor plan for kitchen and living room, and I don't know when this happened, but at one point in time, they moved, they moved the kitchen to the other part of the house and turn the in the add-on what they done was they took the kitchen out and moved the living room to where the kitchen was and they put a wall up and made it a uh, bedroom I, mm -hmm. and when my ex-wife left over a year ago they um uh, uh, she's like, well, I don't want the house and blah blah blah. So I'm like, mm. then we was we was gonna try a trial separation at first, and so she left. And after she left, you know, I'm like, well, when you leave, I'm doing what I want to with the house. Since you said you don't want the house, I'm gonna do what I want to with it. So because it's going to be mine, since you're not wanting it, I'm doing what I want to with it. And I started deconstructing. I started deconstructing. Uh, I've replaced floors. <clears throat> this add-on, the way they built it, it was not built correctly. And this is Kentucky, and in this the, the part of Kentucky I'm in, there's not like a building code inspector. You know, you can change the paint of your house. There's no homeowner association. There's n nothing at all like that. You, you know, if you can, if you have a plot of land, the only thing that you need approval for is septic, and that's basically it. You just they sign off on the septic. You put the septic in. Everything else, as long as as long as you don't make the son of a bitch to where it'll burn down, you're fine. I mean, obviously for insurance purposes, you need like licensed people to inspect things like electricity, stuff like that. You know, the, the essential things that has to like if power's not on the property or there's not existing sewer, that has to be checked by an electrician, the power company, all that. That there's there's a process for that. But if those two things are on it, then, you know, you basically gave you some block, grab some toothpicks, put you something up, and hope to God it don't burn down. And that's how the add-on was built. Um, and they used rough lumber and didn't do any type of ventilation for it. Um, no moisture control and it got termites and I had to replace the whole basically the whole floor of the add-on I had to replace and there's still some things uh, cosmetically that I need I need to get replaced but everything else the structure and stuff the structures it's sound but like I said I mean it's 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 safe <clears throat> but like I said it's like I said, uh, that, but that's good. But the kitchen, though, I want to do a, a follow. I'm going to do my living room since it's me here. I'm doing one big nerd cave. It is going to be one big fucking nerd cave. I swear to God. I shit you not. Because, like I said, the part of it right here, California Republic flag, the kitchen, it's for the division. It's not big enough for a kitchen table. I mean, me and her had a kitchen table once. It was horrible. There was no room in the kitchen we have now. Too cramped. I didn't like it. I said, fuck it. Threw the sun bitch out. And 
for the kitchen for the kitchen here now. I'm gonna put up a. Uh, I took the wall and re uh, recycled the material, and I made a bar to divide the kitchen, the living room up, and on the bar. I've got the frame and stuff built. I'm gonna take the paneling, cover it with paneling. I'm gonna put some real smooth wood on the top. I'm gonna to take. Um, I'm gonna to try to get some Nuka Cola bottle caps. I don't know if I'm gonna to go to Amazon and buy them. Or just find someone that's good at that, give them a bunch of bottle caps, and say, "Here, do it." And when I get the bottle caps, I'm gonna glue them to the to the surface of the wood, put some epoxy over it. There's gonna be my bar top. Um, also, I found a bunch of uh, kitchen Fallout themed kitchen decorations, and I got some. I found some stuff on Bethesda, uh, and I'm not, you know, I, I like licensed Fallout memorabilia, but it, it's too expensive. It's too expensive. It's, I mean, I like it, but it's just too expensive for me. Now, Etsy and Amazon, there's where I go for my stuff. Uh, I just ordered some Fallout Christmas ornaments for my tree. Um, got, I got, like I said, I got some Fallout ornaments ordered. I've got, um, That's pretty much it. I got some Jurassic Park ornaments. Um, like I said, I got the I got some ornaments left over from when we were together. Um, I kept some of the ornaments that we had together. The ones that represent the animals, I kept those. The ones that represented her, I tossed. The ones that uh, represent Hayden, I or Hayden, I kept. Um, uh, yeah, that that's pretty much about it. the cinnamon ones. I kept like the ones I got for to represent my career, where it's corrections. And where it's uh, under the law enforcement umbrella, I got a, a piece of bacon. I got a bacon ornament and I hung it up. That that serves in my career because I, I kept finding like police, but I couldn't find correctional officers. So I'm like, you know what? Bacon. I took the sarcastic stereotype approach and got bacon. Should have got a donut. It is what it is. <laughs> so <coughs> I still have some of the residual. Sinuses. This over here was a awesome. This is blue blueberry ice. It's freaking awesome. Um, another thing that I've done is also like decorations. This the lamp right here behind me. It is a. Um, it came from an old Pizza Hut, and it says it's like um. It's it's basically it's the it's it's the it's, the, it's like stained glass. It's a stained glass effect. Except it has like Coca Cola in it. It's kind of. Um, it, it comes from Pizza Hut. My mother in law, or yeah, she, I won't call her my mother in law because she's been in my life for 10 freaking years and she's still really, really good to me. But she picked this up um, for my ex wife years ago and she when we first got it, it didn't work. And it sat in there for like three or four years, collected dust. Well, the other day, uh, I got a wild hair up my ass. Cause, well, like I said, everything was caught up. So I was like, well, let's 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 start unneglecting the house and get some stuff done here. So I got the lamp. I took it apart. I cleaned it real good. I tightened some of the screws and stuff on the uh, connectors, and the lamp started turning on. And um, the switch in it is kind of bad, but I I can go to Lowe's. Purchase me a new one, just drop it in, turn it on, be fine with it. You remember that lamp you told me you should have took the other day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I could have I could have took the uh I could have took that part out of it and put it in my You don't ever listen to me, so I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about getting them couches out of there. I got some furniture. <laughs> um, but, damn it. Damn, it's just now hitting me that I fucking forgot about that. Well, fuck. Yeah, who cares? Anyways, but this lamp came from an old pit from Pizza Hut. Because um, I don't know the age range of people who watch my videos. I don't really ask. I don't want to do a poll. But, some of you guys who are watching do remember the old Pizza Huts. 
where it was, you know, dine in. You'd sit there at the booth. You had the whole atmosphere of a pizza place going. It, oh, it was it, wonderful. Good nostalgia, nostalgia going down the road right here. And, um, yeah, so this came out of an old Pizza Hut. Um, I had a couple chairs out of an old Pizza Hut once. My ex-wife's grand, grandparents had got them. Um, where they live at, they were redoing the Pizza Hut, changing everything in there. And that one's actually still a dining Pizza Hut. I, I don't... It's still dining. I mean, they obviously took out, took out the old retro look they used to have. But they threw out some stuff, and her... Um, my ex wife's grandparents got a couple chairs and stuff. They got they got some more things too. Um, I don't quite recall. Uh, one thing I would like to get is some of those old Coca Cola cups. They had the old glasses, the real hard plastic ones that you could probably turn into a shank. Um, I like to become more of those. Um, I would love to try to find some Coca Cola stuff to put up in my new in my kitchen when I get it done because I'm I'm purchasing I'm getting a new oven. A new fridge and yeah but I got a ways to go for I do that everything else is you know you can't even, but yeah the reason I'm doing this update like I said I just feel you know I just want to sit here and talk kind of reach out and just shoot the shit a little bit because I've not guys I've not had time to and, and it, it aggravates the ever living piss out of me that I've not been able to because since I've been uploading <coughs> Since I've been uploading, you know, there's been a lot of people like my videos. Um, let's, I want to discuss some of my, uh, my montage about the Cazadors. Um, I, I have to, I know I'm bouncing back and forth like a fucking, like a tilt on a, on a pinball machine. But. But the thing with it is, is when I turned on, when I turned on, I hadn't used my stuff in a while. And when I turned it on, I didn't check anything. I didn't double check. I didn't double check shit. I turned on and said, all right, this is great. I had my earphones on. And, uh, <coughs> yeah, had the earphones going on and I didn't check anything. And then it turns out there was no sound. So, hmm. And then, when I did the clip, I didn't, I don't think I rendered it correctly. I didn't do something. See, I, if I had done it, if I could redo it correctly, I would put the video in smart trim. I may actually, re I may re-upload that video and do that. I may actually redo the video and kind of see what I can do with that. <coughs> may change some of the voices. I mean, I, I put, I put a lot of work into that. Um, I didn't like the results, but again, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm using editing software for the most part now for some of my videos. Um, I'm trying to put a little bit of narration over me talking that way. It sounds a little bit better. Let me just sit in there and scream my thumb up my ass. But I, um, I have a photo editor too. I'm going to start working using that. You're going to see a lot more. You're going to see a lot more stuff coming from me. And you're going to see a lot more effort going into my videos. Because, like I said, I'm almost at the end of. I'm almost at the end of my um, education, and I'm at the point that you know I have time. Because um, when I get my degree, you know I'm even going to be looking at career changes too um, get me in something where I can you know be more family oriented than what I am right now where everything's set so I can actually be a father and do dad stuff I mean I do dad stuff already but you know I can actually have that time to focus on my family and I won't have to worry about work interfering with it that's you know that right there is my biggest issue at this point and others have been focusing on that. You know, my health has also been messing with me real bad. Um, Health-wise, like I said a few weeks ago, I had to... Um, that's not good. 
Um, I don't know if this sound will be picked up, but the um, <coughs> everything in this house is backwards. Even the plumbing. Uh, the plumbing's fixed. It just needs to be uh, vented. Just needs to be vented and kind of gone over a little bit, which I'm going to do that. That's going to get done next week. But outside of that, that's I'm not going to dive into full details of the house again. But um, that's pretty much it, you know. It's but like oh, there now I don't know where was that. Last week uh, or not? Fuck. Um, a few weeks ago. I started having some problems that were very concerning. Um, I don't know if I discussed this in a video or not, but this might be an update, anyways. I was having point. Um, I was having issues where I would start having severe chest pains, and you know, it's just randomly. I would just start having chest pains, and they were bad. I would get real bad dizzy spells. And my, it's just, I, I was overloaded with stress. It, it was terrible. Um, my friend, she kept pushing me to go to the doctor, to go to the doctor. And the clinic where I had went to, that got flooded out when um, this area had the floods <clears throat> earlier this year, back in July. They closed and they opened back up, so I, I started cutting my appointment back. I went back to them and kind of started, you know, getting everything going. And I told her, she told her what's wrong. She's giving me a little, um, she gave me some Zoloft to kind of take the edge off, kind of calm me down. And I will say since then, it's been getting better. I'm still having some, some issues, but I think a lot of that is just, A lot of that is just me. I think a lot of that's just burnout, honestly. Because my job, like I said, I said in my last video, I'm a correctional officer. I'm my job is stressful. It is very stressful. And you know, you with corrections, you I don't know how many of y'all watch. I didn't see a lot of people watch my last video, but oh, whatever. But it's a job. It's very it's demanding mentally physically and it's yeah it's when you get burnt out it starts taking its toll I mean statistically speaking what was correct correction officers live what 12 years below the average population yeah people in my field they don't live 12 years below the normal life expectancy and that's based on what 70 Just a quick look from like the research and whatever. <clears throat> it was saying that correctional officers usually live to be an average of like sixty-two, and the normal person lives to be like seventy-four. Yeah, so you know, there's there's about yeah, there's about a yeah. You know, that's that's the thing about it. You know, we don't we don't last long, and burnout and stress that's part of it. Just the job itself is kind of a you know, and I'm not gonna sit here and dive too much into corrections. <laughs> You won't catch me diving much into it because, like I said, this is my outlet. Now, I might do some things correctional related, just kind of like parodies of, of certain things. But outside of me going into the one of these channels, oh, let's talk about corrections today. No. Hail to the no. Do I like my job? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not really in the field to look for anything else outside of. I'm not. I'm not going to look for anything outside of corrections. I like the field of corrections in general, the criminal justice system, like that. <coughs> you know. So will I? You know, would I quit corrections altogether and go outside to some boring nine to five? Not really. I look. I plan to stay. I plan to stay with the criminal justice field as long as I can. And my degree is going to be a bachelor's of science in criminal justice. And I plan to stay within criminal justice with that degree. I, that's where I plan to stay. Um, I, when I get my degree, I would like to try to take a role. I would like to try to play more of a role in the rehabilitation aspect of things is what I really want to do. I want to try to, I want to take that aspect. And I want to go and help people who want help because in prison you have all walks of life. You have different cultures. You have Muslims, Rastafarians, Jews, um, 
Odinist, Odinism. I don't know what. I don't know if it's Odinist is what I've been hearing them call it. Um, I mean, you just have a whole slew of religions. I think some even have Wiccan. Uh, maybe I don't know. We, you know, we have Native Americans. You have all walks of life, and I want to. You know, I want to be in there because you know, I want to help the people that need help. So once I get my degree. I'm going to start gearing more towards the rehabilitation aspect of corrections more so than the cicada aspect. Now, you know, I want to do something productive with it. But, um, you know, because that's all I got for now. Remember, I got two videos uploaded. This will bank number three. This will just be me going, <laughs> here I am. Um, so hopefully, let's see, this week... <coughs> I might get a chance to do something this week. Um, I'm going to sit here and try to play with uh, my editing software a little bit and try to get some, do some screenshots and work on thumbnails and start getting more stuff of that up. Um, I might even work, I might even put together a new banner. Who knows? But just keep your eyes open and I'll see you guys later. Um, Um, side note, side note. Also, keep an eye on the community tab. I've started posting to, I've started posting on the um, like status part where YouTube's trying to act like their Facebook. Daisy quit! I've been trying to use that to post to keep you guys updated, and if you all want to know any updates that's going on, um, Check that, check that community tab and follow me through there because that's where you're going to get the best updates because it's easier for me to go in there and update directly. Uh, Twitter, the, the tw you know, when I start using the Twitter. I'm going to have her start doing that because she's, like I said, she's good at all that shit. So she's going to be like my public relations person. So, um, like I said, hopefully, guys, here at least in the next month or so, at least hopefully the new year, hopefully when the new year starts, I have time to get back at this and keep going the way I'm going with it. And when I get my house done, I'll give you all the tour of it, too, because I'll have to show it off. I'll have some before and afters. But, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for interacting. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for, thanks for all the support. Uh, those of you that watch my videos, I love you to death. You guys are awesome. You know, thanks for being here because you're here at like the ground level. Enjoy your holidays. Be safe.